hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something very short and interesting we want to show you how you can um, get something very interesting out of your google Ads. you know let's say you are trying to get um, a rough estimate or maybe you're trying to let's say use it for navigation or you just want to see a preliminary um, description yeah how your project area or maybe whatever the situation is you just want to have um, a rough estimate of whatever you're doing so you can actually use this approach we want to show to you and um, you are good to go so we just have um, navigated to a random area and then we want to see how we can do it how we can achieve that so yeah thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can um, encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us we are basically going to use this add and um, place mark tool. so let's click on it then let's just call this um, let's see uh, normally you can give it any name but let's just call the default point one so let's say we want to pick this edge this is where our point one is right good and again we say what okay then um, okay where is it okay we still come back to the place mark we call this um, point two right we call this point two and we move to this edge right then we say okay then we come to the place mark again we call this um, point three then we still move up to so this other edge yeah that's okay point four should be somewhere around yeah this edge then okay and we have what, um, 0.5, which will be this, right? Let's move 0.5 to this. Good. Now, when you have placed all your beacons, not really a beacon anyway, when you've placed all your place mark on those edges, which serves as your boundary point, right? Good. And you want to extract the coordinates. Basically, you don't need um, the raster data. You need um, a vector data from it. You can decide to join them with them um, the polygon like join them by using this add polygon to right and later move them to what you call it to any other card software like um, autocad or maybe for you to even move them to autocad you have to do what you have to pass through maybe qgis or something else to convert it back to um dwg or dxf file right good so this is another alternative however if you don't want to do this let's just call this um let's just call this polygon we don't actually need it but let's just call this a polygon right so we have a polygon here good so let's say you have all of these and you want to move these um, points to your card software or let's say you want to extract the coordinates of this point and send to someone for plotting whatever the situation is you need to understand that when you click on the on the point which is under your place the place marker then you right click and you come to properties you will find out that um, you have your coordinates in lat and long and you know basically on card we don't usually use them um, the lat and long we use them um, either eastern or northern or maybe any other projected system right good so for you to be able to change these your coordinates which are in lat and long or let's say the coordinates of these your points which are in lat and long which you've basically gotten from what you call it from google Earth. what do you do you come to tools and then you go to what option now under options you have um, the google Earth options you come to what utm now when you click on utm you just um, apply and you say what okay so you now see that okay before we do that let's just confirm this Come back to tools again you go to options it was on dms right apply and then close when you look at the bottom of your screen here you will see what the coordinates that are being displayed as you over your mouse on the on the screen you will see what the coordinates are changing right and they actually in lat and long right good so for you to change it you now come to what the tools you go to options and then you click on what utm you apply and then you see what okay right good when you do that you now see that you also have your zone 
So whatever you're working on, you know that okay, this actually is 32, 31, 42, 11, 17, 10, 12, whatever zone you're working on, right? Good. And you would also have your coordinates, which are also in the what in the UTM system, which you can now use or maybe you can now send to anyone that wants to work with it on card. So when you right click, you know we have all the points there. When you right click on the point, you can see the attributes of that point. You can see what the zone. You can see the eastern. You can see the northern. You can even see UTM northern of the focus point, right? You can see the focus point. You can just see okay. So by this, you can just what you can just copy them out manually, like okay, maybe typing them out on your notepad or using your paper and pen, or you can still do what you can still have it as the polygon which we created earlier, which I suggested we don't use. You can still just have it as the polygon, and you do what you can export the polygon to any other software that can help you convert it to an AutoCAD compatible format, which will now enable you to what have your points in what. In AutoCAD, which can enhance or which can make you complete whatever design you want. So basically, you might really need this. Yeah, you definitely will need it when you are just um, trying to use is a placemat to to randomly pick some points and your um, your lateral long brother the two they call it here yeah, show lateral long. When your show lateral long is not on UTM and it's actually on degree meter second, which I believe is the default, but you want your coordinates right on auto. Sorry, you want your coordinates right on Google Earth to be depicted with or to be depicted on the word on the UTM coordinate system. So you just come down to two, you go to what options, then you go to what UTM, you apply, you say okay. So whatever coordinate, whatever place mark you use, and you know, you place your place marks on the Google Earth environment, wherever you place your your place mark on the Google Earth environment, you will see what the coordinates being displayed in what in the eastern and not in the eastern and northern coordinates being displayed, not your lats and long, which you still um, have to convert or need to convert for you to be able to use on that um, card environment. So yeah, we believe it's short, we believe it's um, educative, and we believe that it's going to help you, and we believe we've provided them solution. To that particular solving problem so thanks for coming to class if you have any question contribution um, suggestion you can leave it on the comment section and we are going to be very very grateful we'll see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and um, have a time bye